Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting outside the chicken yard, drinking my coffee this morning. And my parents have left. They're going to go spend a few days with some friends of theirs. And we just had a beautiful, beautiful visit. It, it wasn't long enough in my opinion. Uh, they stayed in a cabin out at Chickasaw State Park. And I was so, so nervous about how everything was going to go. Because we couldn't take Papa everywhere we went with us. So I had to keep him in the tiny house. He did great. He didn't destroy anything. And I was worried about the chickens, but nothing went wrong with the chickens. I kept them in their yard. One day I had to keep them in their coop, and I'll talk to you about that some other time. But um, it was just a great, great visit. So huh, it all went so well. Everything went great. And I didn't do a lot of filming because I didn't want to spend the whole time looking at my parents through the, you know, the screen of my phone. I just wanted to be able to, you know, just spend some time with the fam, if you know what I mean. But I did get some footage, so I'm just going to start kind of start to finish with what I did get. And so here's kind of how it went. I really didn't have any extra money, so for my mom's birthday, I made her two jars of survival food. That is chicken noodle soup, and that is beef uh, noodle stew soup, sort of. And I just put different things in the jar and layered them. The chicken noodle has chicken bouillon in it and some other seasonings, and I just kind of varied the vegetables between each one. The beef stew had, well, some chicken um, beef bouillon down in the bottom and some different kinds of noodles, and I just tried to layer it and make it look pretty, and she absolutely loved it. And now for the birthday girl. You'll notice that the camera starts going down. I cut off the top part of her head because, I, like I said earlier, I just wanted to watch her face so I wasn't really focusing on my filming. But um, we got cheesecake and she blew out her candles. So, Mom, for your birthday. So, how old are you? I'm 82. No, you're not. You're 45. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Make a wish. Make a wish. Okay, you can blow out the candles now. Woohoo! Dad, clap. I can't clap, I'm feeling yay! yay! It's cheesecake time! And now for the great fisherman, my dad. We didn't, I didn't want to get a fishing license. I mean, they're kind of like 75 bucks. And I didn't want to get a temporary one because I still don't have my state ID and they would have charged me out of state rates. So we decided since everybody said the fish weren't biting at all, they just nobody was catching any fish. Um, just to get a like a three-day license for my dad and he tore it up. What you doing, Dad? I'm trying to catch a fish. You already caught two. Because you're the master fisherman. I need someone to do the fish baiting for me. Would you do that? I I'll could do that. Do the catching and you do the baiting. That sounds good. Papa's sitting over here being a good boy. See what happens. There's one! Yay! Whoa. Yes! Yes, Dad! Oh my gosh, it's a fighter! He's got caught on the... Oh yeah. no! Oh. No, he's not! Yeah. What can we do? What can we do? I don't know. You want to jump down in there? I'm considering it. <laughs> Oh, Dad! I don't think he's on there. Yeah, he's still on there. I think he's just a big fish. Yeah, he's caught on the, the, the piling here somehow. How could it do that? Maybe it's a rock or something? I don't know. What are we going to do? I'm going to have to break the line. Darn it. Darn it! Keep trying. You can do it. See? He's still on there. Let's see. Well, okay. Now try it. Dad, it's hook. It's hung up on some. It it swum mm -hmm. underneath something. Yeah. I'm wondering if you brought your pole over that way, like reached around. Maybe you could get it to come out. That's too bad because that was a good one. Yep. Where's our fishies? 
See our fishies right there? One kind of small one. But one decent sized one. That one was probably the biggest one. Yep. Well, and that's addition, in addition to the two you caught and we cleaned the first night. And then you caught like about ten, but you only kept about four of them. Yeah. Right? From the last time. And now we got two. I think we're going to get more, Dad. What do you think, Papa? Yeah, I think so. He's, he's, he says yes. Yep. Okay, now what is it about the bobber situation? If you're using a regular bobber and you want to go deep, and it's way up on the line. It's hard to cast it. Oh. But with this, this rides up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. See, so it's right there. I gotcha. It's easy to cast. In fact, is you can run this all the way up like this in your thing, and see now how nice it, it is to cast it. Yeah. That's the right. I did not know that. I just used the little round ones. Well, they're okay. Did you put bait on it yet? No. Let's get some bait. It's the fun part of this whole project. They're very slimy worms, and they're very active. Lively. I have a feeling you're going to catch a big, huge one now, Dad. I have faith. Okay. Let's see. We got it about the right depth. This time we don't want it to get over near that. Pipe. Right. Oh, but look at my bobber. It's got. Too, it's too light a bobber for the sinker. Uh. <laughs> That's okay. We can see it. Next time you pull it up, you can just put a lighter weight on it. I don't know if I got any lighter weights. Gosh, I have a ton of weights and hooks in my truck. That's okay. It's fine. We can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Dad. Oh, that is the biggest one yet. Look at that. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Dad, the awesome fisherman. Yay. Here, well, I'll pull those up and we can compare. We caught a fish. <laughs> oh, it sure is pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll compare them once you get it on the stringer. Yeah, I think it's the biggest. Oh, gorgeous fish. Right on. Here, I'll take that. Okay. Come on, Dad. Oh, my God. He got a fast. Holy sh moly! Dad, you did it! Oh my gosh! I, is that a big enough to be a keeper, Dad? I, I think know. it is. Yeah. Oh, we're we'll gonna keep it. it. Oh, that is so cool! Look at that. That's a decent sized bass yeah, right that, that there. One, that one will be good to fillet. Oh. Well, we'll have to look and see. Um, I didn't bring a fillet knife with me. Uh, but we might be able to find something, but we don't want to butcher it too badly. If we don't have a, a sharp fillet knife, we can just clean it and cook it. Yeah. Yum. You guys, Yay. they're like starving, but I want to do a video. Okay, this is kind of like a Cajun shrimp dish. Uh, it's got shrimp, uh, red, green, and orange bell peppers, and a chopped up onion in it, biscuits, uh, rice. This goes over the rice. And hobo fish. Look at all that fish. Ooh, that's gonna be delicious. All right, you guys. Plate it up. Yep. Look it. Doesn't it look delicious? Yes. The hobo fish is basically just clean fish. I put butter in the centers of them. I put butter on the outside, sprinkled garlic salt over it, and you could sprinkle, you know, like garlic powder, maybe salt if you didn't have garlic salt and uh, uh put lemon juice all over the top of it closed it up in the foil and put it over the fire and just turned it it turned out absolutely perfect that's how we cook the bass as well and the cajun shrimp dish i normally do in a cast iron skillet it's better that way because you can brown the uh, onions and the peppers but i really just wanted to do it all over the fire to simplify things and it still turned out pretty gosh darn good the rice was minute rice i don't really care for minute rice but it still worked in a pinch 
Here's a picture of Papa and my parents. Papa just loved, love, love. My mom just wanted to love on her the whole time. Look, he's giving her a little kiss. I tell you, I was impressed with how well behaved this dog did. And even when I took him out to the uh, cabin, he just, there were other dogs around. He was very well balanced and just a complete gentleman the whole time. So, Papa, yeah, you're definitely a keeper. We went thrifting, we went antiquing, and we did some planting. I'll show you that in the next video because this is already getting long enough. But uh, I'm just kind of sad that they're gone, but they, they will come back again. And I just wanted to mention all of the worms we used for bait, they came from my property. So that was really, really wonderful too. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.